Great. So, you know, I think, I think, you know, very nicely, you know, because I'm doing it after Palantir, because the whole data play and, and, you know, and I'll talk about the, 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 the product play of Twilio first before I you know, jump on the financial for financial is actually not, not much of that is something that you can look at very easily, you know, over a quick Google search, but, you know, so Twilio essentially has been building, you know, the, the whole fundamentals of communication, uh, you know, uh, essentially the, for the data flow for many, many years, right. Uh, you know, from SMS, voice, video, email, chat, uh, you know, fax, contact centers, they just recently acquired a company for toll free numbers, right. So what they've been doing, they've been trying to, you know, own all these, you know, places uh, where, you know, your, your data is going to essentially get, you know, created, right. So all the, all the source points and with now, you know, the segment, you know, um, uh, acquisition, what they have done is that they have said, okay, now, you know, we, you, you are creating so much data through the channels that you have, you know, via Twilio, how do you essentially going to take that and essentially make a meaning of it, right? How do you essentially going to, you know, segment your, you know, users, segment, understand, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, create your segmentation of your users and say that, okay, this data coming from these five, first, you know, sources is actually meaning this in a whole 360 degree view, right? And, you know, you know, I, this, I do this for my living, right? So, you know, I've seen like, massive massive investment happening in the last three years in from the enterprises in the cdp space so and i'm bullish in twilio not because of the data you know the, the communication you know backbone that they have created but the, the whole cdp play with the whole data infrastructure that they have in right so they have a data infrastructure which you know which is called uh, you know, super network right and it's very very hard for any company to now go in and essentially replicate that uh, with that super network, you know, they are essentially, you know, are the forefront for essentially all the communication. And now with the segment, what they are essentially getting into is into a very, very high business focused uh, or impact, uh, you know, segment where you, you can actually make sense of all the data from all the places, right? Very quickly, you know, they, their own, they, uh, you know, top, so right now their top customers are, you know, essentially about 12%. Uh, top 10 customer, but 12% of the revenue. So they have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, diverse customer base, right? And, you know, they are, you know, increasing the customer base, active customers, you know, very quickly as well. You know, it's about 240,000 right now from 200,000, you know, a year ago, and it's going to go to at least about, you know, 500, about half a million in the next three years, if you will, right? And, you know, they, their retention rate of the customers is very, very good. So, you know, it's, you know, with every customer, they're going to increase the revenue over the time as well and i'm on the time but you know i'll take like i mean it's it's very less time for for twilio for to, to just for twilio but love to answer any more questions during the q a session hey girl i actually have a question on twilio because i'm an investor um so i know the mm -hmm. telecoms are kind of like frenemies for them right now do you think that they would be acquiring a telco company in the near future just so they could solidify that portion of the market or do you think that the telcos are going to uh, start working together and take a little bit of, or at least defend their market share from Tulio. So it's it's the that that part of the uh, the business Tulio has is is not really a lucrative, you know, market for telco. Or, you know, it's a very low margin, you know, uh, you know, almost commoditized business. And you know, because you know, Tulio has been investing into building uh, this the super networks, right? With you know, with you know, with essentially, you know, the network all over the world, the global network. For any telco to do that, right, and essentially work on, you know, uh, you know, the interchange with other, you know, different telcos in different regions, different countries, it's a it's a massive, massive headache, and uh, you know, and and a huge capital investment, uh, you know, required for doing that, right? I don't think so. It's it's, it's that easy, and it's that lucrative uh, for the telcos, you know, that the telco would just go in and, and start building it uh, the next day, right? Uh, I think that's that's something that you know Twilio has, you know, done painfully in the last eight, ten years. Uh, and and that's something that's gonna you know actually great give uh, results now on going forward. Um, I have uh, I have one question uh, regarding Twilio. So I'm, I'm an investor in Twilio. Just full disclosure here. But my worry is um, the decrease in gross margins, and I was wondering if if um, Rav, if you had any comments on on that. Yeah, I think so. Traditionally, they they've been so you know into that you know, low margin business, right? You know all the SMS. Is, is probably the lowest margin, you know, uh, cheap business out there, right? And that's why a lot of, you know, people actually did not get into the business, you know, in this in this industry early on. Uh, with now segment coming in, uh, so first with SendGrid, they now own their entire email communication channel as well. And now with segment coming in, and now when they're making the sense of that, you know, data in that CDP, 
that is going to be becoming a more their uh, you know their high uh, you know high gross margin or high margin uh, you know revenue for them coming uh, going on from here and you know i think i believe you know segment had about 5000 customers you know when they got acquired you know and now twilio has uh, you know about 200 to 50000 customers you know growing more and more so there is a huge huge growth um, you know opportunity there you know for for that whole cdp i mean for one of the fortune 500s you know which we have implemented a cdp uh, recently uh, you know on, on an azure network you know it goes up to about 4 to 5 million uh, you know dollar you know easily contract so for 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 a year or two uh, you know uh, imagine that you know doing for 200000 customers